Wrestling Rampage back with another video. That's right. Today we're doing the WWE SummerSlam 2015 prediction video. Get right, uh, geared up for as right. uh, as Mr. NASCAR said, Summerfest. Yes, <laughs> Mr. NASCAR. Uh, A couple years ago, yeah, remember they did that guest host garbage. But uh, uh, this is. Uh, it's going to be held August 23rd, 2015 at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Same uh, place as NXT. The day after NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. That's right. So, you get two shows for the weekend, so that's pretty badass. Yeah, let me um, tell you, I'm be watching them both. Live on the WWE Network for only $9.99, but it could be free for the new subscribers. Yes. Um... The first match. Remember, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, but I gotta say this. It's a four-hour special. Yes. Four hours. Four solid hours That's of right. Summer, Summer Slam. Slam. So, and uh, I we have been doing our Summer Slam review series. Yeah. Uh, Summer Slam is a real special event. Yes, uh, it is. You know, uh, it's I, the I, biggest party of the summer. That's right. The biggest party of summer. Uh, first match is uh, Stardust and King Barrett versus Neville and Stephen Amell, who is uh, Arrow, uh, for those of you. That... Oh, I don't watch fucking movies, so I don't know who the fuck he is. Some jobber who shouldn't even be in the fucking ring. Uh, uh, I'm, go I'm saying it right here. I'm going for Stardust and King Barrett. I'm gonna go with Neville could find a better part of folk. I'd rather team with Steve Lombardi than fucking fucking this guy. Uh, there's just a rule when it comes. I to hate us. actors that get in the ring. Come on, I'm sick and fucking tired of it. And by the way, if it was me and I was a fucking wrestler, I'd beat the shit out of him for real. But that's me. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with just Neville. Uh, I don't care about Arrow. Oh, so. he probably won't even get in the fucking ring. He's too pussy fied. Or, but, uh, or do the whole, uh, or, or do the Adam Pacman Jones yeah, uh, yeah, uh, just treatment. throw money like he did our throw, truth in TNA. Throw the money. But I'm going, I'm me, I'm going for Stardust and King Barry. Uh, I'm going to go with Neville uh, and I guess, I guess Arrow, I assume. Uh, next match is uh, a three team elimination match. Uh, when uh, Team Bella, which is the Bella Twins, uh, Bree and Nikki, uh, team up with Alicia Fox to take on Team Bad, uh, Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Tamina uh, versus Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. Well, I'm I'm gonna say this right here about Team. What is it, Team Bad? Yeah. Can you? They needed Sasha Banks because Naomi can't fucking work work her way out of her ass, and fucking Tamina's been sucking ever since she came there. With the Usos, so, so if it wasn't for Sasha Banks, they 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 would have been the weakest. Yeah, and I still think they're the weakest because Sasha Banks is better than both of them. Uh, I'm gonna go with Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. So am I. I'm going. That's a better tan, better trio than the both. But I like Sasha Banks, but she had to be stuck into the shitties. I'm just saying that right here. Uh, but I'm going for Paige, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch also. Uh, next match is Kevin Owens versus Cesaro. Now, as you can tell, Kevin Owens has fell down. Yeah, he's getting the same treatment as Cesaro here. Uh, and Cesaro does need a push. I'm saying that right here, right now. He's great, great, great talent. I don't know why Vince said that, uh, he don't connect. To me, he connects. But Vince is so in times he thought King Kong Bundy was good in 1994. So... <laughs> Uh, what does, what the fuck is great now? Uh, I I I I ended up meeting Cesaro at a Ring of Honor show when he was uh, teaming with uh, Chris Hero. With Chris Hero as uh, the I forgot the Kings what, of Wrestling. Yeah, that's what their names was. The Kings of Wrestling. And they were really a talented tag. Team. Yes, uh, I seen them live at a Ring of Honor show when and they were on HD Net. And he's got a lot of fucking talent. Yes, and they were a great tag team, and uh, I always enjoyed his work. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll when. When he came in the WWE with Oksana, you know, I was like, man, this guy's fucking good. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, I'm sorry, Cesaro, I'm going for Kevin Owens. 
I like Owens. I like Owens more than Cesaro, but I still like Cesaro. Don't get me wrong. I like Cesaro. It's really hard to choose in that Cause, because cause I like them both. Because both of them does well, now, now. Now I know Owens had his push and everything, but if if you're just gonna let him get fucking demolished by Cena and then go down to mid card level, even lower than mid card level, there's no reason in it. But I understand the rivalry between Owens and Cesaro. I understand it. You know, that's even coming from Ring of Honor. But, uh... You know, so... But I like Cesaro, but I gotta go with Kevin Owens. I'm gonna go with Owens, too. But Cesaro needs needs a push. He does, big time. Uh, next match is Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev. Uh, uh, I'm going for Dolph Ziggler. Uh, and, 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 That's another guy that needs a push. Uh, well, I mean, they thought giving Lana to Dolph was going to improve him or and something. It, hasn't. it really hasn't that much. He needs a push. Uh, now I know this is what the whole thing was built upon, and I don't, and I don't know how Summer Rae got thrown in there, but with Rusev. But uh, she, she, she's almost as bad as fucking uh, what's her face, Rose Mendez. That's right. Pass- she's, she's been passed around like a beast ball, too. So. And, uh, but I'm going for Dolph Ziggler. I'm going to go with Ziggler, too. He, de- you know, he deserves the push. I uh, like Rusev. Don't get me wrong. I like Rusev. Rusev's all right. I like Rusev, but I like Ziggler more. So I'm going for Dolph. I'm going for DZ. Uh, next match. The zigzag man, as Booker T would call him. Uh, the next match on the card is Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper. Uh, former uh, Wyatt family members versus uh, the former Shield members of Dean Ambrose Hang on. and Hoo-ha. and Mister Hoo-ha, uh Roman Reigns. I don't know if y'all seen Bacha Media. It was on Battleground. Remember the guy that was doing this when Bro- <laughs> <laughs> Roman Reigns came. <laughs> well, I'm, I had to throw that in here because because uh, any time with Hoo-ha, you know. This is going to fuck. This is probably the shittiest match on the card. Uh, well, actually, not. I the don't shittiest. know about that. Not the shittiest, but close to the shittiest. I, I, I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper. Even though I I, I like Dean Ambrose, oh, but he man. could have picked a better partner. I don't even like Luke Harper or fucking Roman Reigns. Fucking fucking Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose got got shoved up the ass with these two. And uh, oh god. <laughs> you gotta choose one. Oh god! It's not like the match is gonna disappear. Uh, ain't that true? I guess I'll just go with Dean Ambrose and, and Hoo Ha. I have no choice but to go with Mister Hoo Ha. Uh, I like I like you, Bray Wyatt, but but Luke Harper sucks. Uh, next, and so does Roman Reigns, but that, I like Dean Ambrose. Next Amber. match is Randy Orton versus Sheamus. Now, uh, I'm, I'm kind of tired of seeing this rivalry because it's, been, it's yeah. been going on since like 2011. Yes, and I'm saying it right here, right now. I'm going for elbow pad Randy Orton. <sighs> I'm going to go with Sheamus. So, I'm, I'm going, going go for with, Randy. I'm going to go with Mr. Cockadoodle. Uh, you can go with the Red Rooster. <laughs> Number two. Uh, next match is a fatal four-way uh, match. Uh, so I'm sorry, a fatal four-way tag match for the WWE Tag Team Titles. Uh, when the champions, the prime time players, uh, making moves, making moves, making a dollar move, <laughs> versus the New Day, versus Los Matadoros, versus the Lucha Dragons. I'm saying it right here, right now. I'm going for the New Day. You have finally seen the power well, of well, positivity. Well, shit! Look who the other three teams are. Uh, de- I'm sorry, the tag team division WWE sucks. Uh, I'm going to go with the New Day as well. But, uh, I, 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 I like rather prefer the New Day than fucking primetime players and who are the other two? Uh, Luis Lucha- Matadores and Lucha Dragons. And Sakara number two and uh, whoever that other guy is. Yeah. <laughs> whoever that other guy is. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of the WWE tag team division. It's uh, kind of low card level. Uh, both of us are going with the New Day, so... But if I had to choose, yeah, it'd be the New Day. Uh... And if it's Xavier Woods, you know they'll be losing then. So I hope it's Big E and Kofi, they can stand a chance. But if they put Xavier, Kofi, or Big E and, and Xavier, they're fucked, because Xavier ain't gonna help you whatsoever. Uh, next match is it. Uh, now this is, uh, stemmed from, uh, Battleground. 
uh, when it was supposed to go on at Battleground. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's a triple threat match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship when uh, the meathead Ryback, who couldn't spell... Who couldn't it. even spell staph infection. All uh, right, and seeing yeah. folks said it greatly, he is a dumb fuck. Uh, puts his Intercontinental Championship on the line versus uh, Big Show, who needs to retire, and The Miz, and I'm going to go with The Miz. You're going with the guy that uh, got punched by The Big Show and his shoe came off, one sock, <laughs> one shoe on, one shoe off. Yes, I'm going to go with The Miz. <laughs> well, me and you're changing here. I'm going for The Big Show. Oh, wow. Well. That's right. I'm going Mr. Retiree here. I like The Big Show, so. Y'all can say can retire all he wants to, but WWE needs him, so what does that say for you? Because uh, talent in short supply. Yeah, so we'll just get 45-year-old Big Show to come down there. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, well, I, I just never liked the Big Show. I, I have. I didn't so. even like him when he was giant in WCW. I liked him when he came into WCW. So, I've, I've been like I've been a Big Show fan forever. So, uh, so uh, that's where we differ there. The only, the only time I liked the Big Show was his feud with the Big Boss Man. <laughs> I remember when he was uh, when he was making fun of people. He was dressed as the Hulkster, the Showster, oh. and... God. That was pretty good. Oh, he sucks. I like the big show. Anyway, next match is a double title match. Um, when uh, uh, It's for the United States Championship, the WWE United States Championship, and the WWE Championship. When WWE United States Champion John Cena takes on WWE Champion Seth Rollins. Alright. And I'm going to go with Seth Rollins. Oh, man. I like Cena. I do. I like John. I just don't want him to tie Ric Flair's record. Yep, so you know what? I got. I like Seth Rollins a little bit more than Cena. I'm starting to like Cena, but I like Seth Rollins a little bit more, so I'm going for Seth Rollins. Because it, it, it'd be a tragedy if he passes. Yeah, because he don't have that much talent as a Ric Flair. To... And then, of course... Uh, well, I consider, I, I the main consider event. this the main event also. Uh, this is the rematch from WrestleMania 31. So, no, sorry, Re- WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30, 30. Excuse me, WrestleMania 30, uh, which which they 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 pretty much uh, just ruined the Undertaker streak there. Yeah, ruined Undertaker streak, and they kind of pushed this back, and you know, a year later, mm-hmm. uh, maybe they could have done this at SummerSlam uh, 2014. Uh, or, you know... I have no problem with it. At least I get to see it. Yes. Uh, the rematch from WrestleMania 30. That's right. Uh, where Brock Lesnar broke the Undertaker streak. It's the Beast Brock Lesnar versus the Phenom the Undertaker. Uh, when Undertaker came back at Battleground and, and, and beat and the I shit out it. of Brock. I loved it because it's Seth Rollins. I was like, if Brock wins, I'm going to be pissed. Who won a part-time fucking champion around here? Sit on his fucking Simpsons couch and kill innocent animals. And when The Undertaker came out, I fucking loved it. I was like, yeah, break his fucking neck with that tombstone. Uh, I'm going to go with The Undertaker. I'm going for Booger Red. <laughs> Big bad Booger Red. I'm going for Booger Red. I'm going for The Undertaker. I like The Undertaker. Fuck Jack Links. Mr. Jimmy Johns. He can go jump off a fucking cliff for all I care. But I'm going... If it weren't for Paul Heyman, he wouldn't be nowhere. I'm just saying that right here, right now. Uh, that, yeah, I'm going for The Undertaker. That was the WWE SummerSlam 2015 prediction uh, for the upcoming... Let uh, us know who you think will win all these right. matches for SummerSlam 2015. Let us know in the comments who do you think is going to win. Uh, and, and what match that you're looking forward to the most. Uh, what course, I'm looking forward to the most is that Lesnar Undertaker. Yes, I am too. Uh, the, the rest of them are not bad. No, they're not bad at all. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for the Undertaker to just beat the shit out of Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I love that uh, scuffle they had at Raw where all the guys fucking broke them up. That was fucking great. I popped for that. Like, I marked out for that. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. we got some more great videos coming up for you, and you, got, and you do not want to miss out on them. See ya!